Hey, what's going on, everybody? Back for another episode. This time we are going to be checking out um, some some stuff I've done to my Mr. FPGA setup. Uh, so the Mr. FPGA, as uh, I'm pretty pretty sure all you guys know, is basically a, an old uh, emulator system that basically emulates hardware um, and allows you to play games uh, on a platform that that's basically uh, allows 15K for arcade monitors and PVMs as well as HDMI at the same time. It's a really cool product. I'll actually link you below to the GitHub that kind of explains the whole FPGA. I'm sure if you're here, most of you already know what it is. But what I do want to talk about is, is what I've done to mine here is this little kind of a JAMA platform that I built here, which basically utilizes a JPEG, some other hardware, uh, and allows us to play the, the Mister on our candy cabs. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and walk through the hardware and kind of how I have everything set up. And then we'll go ahead and plug it into one of the candy cabs and I'll kind of show you how everything works. So let's check it out. All right, guys. So here's the basic setup. Up here we have the uh, Mr. FPGA, which is the DE10 Nano board. Um, I do have the I.O. on it. I also have the uh, Mr. Add-ons hub and the 128 megabyte uh, RAM module there. Uh, but how I have this setup is I have it going out of the VGA port uh, into a JPack. So JPack basically takes your JAMA Edge. Uh, and converts it to, um, you know, they're, they're used for like MAME. It basically converts to like a USB uh, input, kind of like any real USB encoder. Um, so that's for video. Audio I have coming out of the 3.5 millimeter jack here. And then I have it going in to this little guy. This is a tiny little uh, three, vo uh, 3 watt, sorry, uh, amp. So the input comes here to the little inputs here. Uh, and then I get the 5 volt here from the jam edge to power the amp. And then it outputs to the input line of the JPEG. So we do have amplified audio, which I know is not a good idea, but this is so low powered that it doesn't really make a difference. It's gonna output of this to the input of the JPEG, which gives us our audio on the board. Um, what's kind of weird, and, and I don't know if, if Smoke Monster or anybody ever checks this out, I noticed that on the Mister, if you don't have an amplified source coming out of the 3.5, it kind of stops sending audio out. So for example, I had headphones plugged in here, just regular, you know, 3.5 millimeter headphones, and the audio would start up, but it, it, it's almost like if it didn't sense an amplified signal, it would just stop. As soon as I put the amp on here and kind of had that little bit of power, works perfectly. So not quite sure if that's a, a feature or what exactly is going on, but that's what I noticed. So maybe if, if you know the answer, comment below, let me know. Um, but then I have the five volt again from here. I have it kind of in a little connector coming off the jam edge. I also have a voltmeter here just to make sure everything's okay. When this is being used in the cab, not much is being pulled from here. The five volt, 12 volt, all that stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull the, the power there. You can also power the amp off of the USB plugs. They make little breakout USB adapters that you can pull the five volt and do that. For my, for my setup, I just had this. Um, so the Jam Edge my cab is only set up for three buttons and the joystick and start and all that. So what I did was I used this little uh, JNX adapter, CPS2 uh, adapter. So I have my kicks wired up for that already. So I have them coming off here, going into the JPack here. So this should work with all the you know CPS1 stuff that's coming out, all the four button for Neo Geo. All that stuff should work and we can keep track of everything here. So what we'll do is we're gonna go ahead and take this setup and we're going to plug everything in to my arcade cabinet and then we'll kind of plug it in and kind of show you how everything looks and works so we'll go ahead and get that set up all right so here it is plugged in again kind of just setting up here so i can show you how it works but basically we have our jamma edge goes here uh everything's on here uh our kick harness is wired separately on this cab it comes down into the little breakout board here and then the only other thing that i that i need to figure out is i do want to eventually take this this is the power lead uh, it splits for both the usb hub and the mister what I want to do though is, is basically get, pull the 5 volt off the JAMA edge um, and power the mister because the mister runs off of 5 volts. What I need to know is what this actual barrel size is and the polarity. So I'm pretty sure like pretty sure grounds on the outside and, and lives in the middle. I'm not 100% sure. If you guys know of like a replacement that I can buy that has this cut and kind of which one I need to do where, um, that'd be that'd be great if you could link me to that. This way I can just go ahead and wire everything up to just be powered off this 5 volt. And I am going to clean this up. This is kind of just, this is still kind of like a, a test setup to just make sure everything works before I finalize and clean up all these solders and everything uh, to pull these 5 volts and all that stuff. Um, but now this is set up, we're going to go ahead and plug the uh, mister in and we'll turn everything on. This way you guys can kind of see what it looks like on the cab. Okay, so everything's powered on here. You can see our 5 volts a little bit low, but it's it's close enough. It'll It'll work fine. But with everything powered up here, uh, we have everything on here, and then if we look at the screen, we see that we get our, our little uh, little guy there. So I have this wireless keyboard. I'm going to try to do this one-handed. This way we can kind of see 
um, what we need to do. Let me go ahead and, and do this real quick, bring it back up, and then we'll navigate through everything. So we're going to go to, do I have this set up wrong? Let's see. So we're going to load a ROM set. This is Neo Geo. Uh, we'll go to, uh, what do we want to pick? I know we can do, we do a grow. Let's see. So as you see, the joysticks are, are making everything work. So we'll let it load here. So there it's loading. So what I'm going to do is come back down here, turn our amp up a little bit, just a little bit, and you can see. We get our sound, we get our beautiful, beautiful picture here. Again, this is the Mr. FPGA setup here. So what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to go ahead and just plug my little keyboard back in and set up the kick buttons, and I'll show you how all that stuff works. All right, so we got this back in. Again, I'm going to try to do this with one hand. Let's see. It brings this up. So we should be able to go down to uh, define buttons. So we should have everything working. So right, left down, up, and then we come down here, we can do A, B, C, D, uh, start, and then we'll do select the coin, and then uh, should be done if we do enter. So now we have credits, we see everything is working here. There we go. All of our stuff's working. A, B, C, and D. So there we have it. There's the Mister setup with a full kick harness support, uh, CPS2 breakout board uh, on here with sound. Um, it's a cool little setup. Real quick, I want to say thank you guys again for tuning in and to all the new subscribers. Uh, again, if, if you know what size uh, power barrel you know, I need, um, and what the, whether the polarity is ground on the middle or ground on the outside, please link that to me. I do want to make this a drop-in thing that the cab can power it and do everything. Whereas right now we have to run the power wire separate um, because I don't have that exact specification. But pretty simple thing. If you have a mister and you have an arcade cabinet um, that runs 15K, you can, you can do all that. Please check out the GitHub. Please support mister. There's a lot of really good developers out there adding things every day. Um, but yeah, it's, it's an awesome little setup. I'm really happy with it. It didn't take much to do with the JPEGs. You can get for like 60 bucks on eBay. Make sure you get the newer one that's USB and not PS2. Uh, the little JNX breakout board, I think it was like 15 or 20 bucks on eBay. Um, obviously, I already had the candy cabs, things like that. But if you have a mister and you have a candy cab, or really any arcade, you can do it on a, on a Dynamo or whatever that does 15K, it's really not much to get this thing put in there and working on that. So again, guys, I do appreciate it. Thank you guys as always, and we'll see you on the next one.